Um, in this video, I'm going to go through the property of expanding series. So we've done um, adding and subtracting, dividing and multiplying, um, and simplifying thirds. So it's very natural to go to expanding. You will use the first property very often when you expand thirds, so it won't be a really hard thing to explain. Just make sure you go through everything step by step, write down all your expansions and every single uh, multiplication you go through until you're confident with the properties of thirds that you're using. So in this case I have square root of 2, let's say this is an example, um, and you're going to expand out the bracket. Now do go back to writing your arrows. I know it seems childish but it will help you avoid all the mistakes because students tend to forget to multiply another third with another. They tend to notice these um, square roots of 2 and then they just write the square root of 3 down forgetting that you're meant to multiply it. So square root of 2 times square root of 2. Well this is just basically square root of 2 squared which as we mentioned in property 1 cancels out so you're left with 2. Be careful again it's not a 4 um, it's the number underneath the third. Um, and then you have square root of 2 times square root of 3 and in this case we can use property 3 which will be 2 times 3, and that is square root of 6. So that's as simple as it goes. I can't simplify it any further, um, and I can't collect the like terms. So this is the simplification. So you always expand and simplify. Let's go through another example. 5 have square root of 3, 6 minus 2 square root of 3. Do pause the video and attempt this question. In this case, you have an, um, a coefficient in front of the square root of 3. So again, we expand the bracket. You have square root 6, square root of 3. It's much better to write the number there. If you did write the 6 there, it might be confusing as to whether it's inside the third or not. And then you have 2. And again, a square root of 3 times a square root of 3 will give you a 3. Remember that. So in this case, it's times 3. Very important to know that it's times 3. It's not a plus 3. It's not anything else. I'm going to go through a more detailed writing of this. So it's 2 and then square root of 3 times square root of 3. All of this together. Well, we know square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So it's still 2 times 3. Um, which will be 6. Um, so I have 6 square root of 3 minus 6. Um, you can factorize it, but that's the opposite of expanding it, so we keep it in this form. 6 square root of 3 minus 6, that's as simple as it gets. Now, what if we have double brackets? In this case, I have 3. Now, in this case, um, you will still use the properties that we've been using um, before with expanding double brackets. Just make sure you use the arrows um, and make sure you multiply every single term. So 3 times 4 will be 12. Um, 3 times 2 square root of 2 will be a positive 6 square root of 2. Then negative square root of 2 times 4 will be a negative 4 square root of 2. And then positive and a negative, that's a negative. Uh, there's no coefficient, so the 2 stays the same. And then I'm left with square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is times 2. Remember that. Um, so I'm dealing with these square roots. Um, I can simplify it further. I have 12 here and then I have, remember the second properties, which is collecting the like terms. I have six lots of square root of 2 and I'm taking away four lots of square root of 2s. So I'm left with only two square root of 2s and this simplifies to a 4. And then I can simplify further. So I have the this 12 and this negative 4. So I'm left with 8 plus 2 square root of 2. 
So it's pretty easy. You just need to remember to use the properties, make sure that you expand every single value and um, simplify them correctly. And remember to use the properties where, especially where you have the same root and um, property three, where you'll have to um, put all the multiplications under one third. Um, one more example, actually two more examples. Um, let's try this. Um, do pause the video and try it, shouldn't be hard. And then I'm not gonna go through the whole solution, I'm just gonna write down the answer. So this should simplify to 10 minus two square root of 21. Um, you can easily spot why it's 21. You'll end up doing um, square root of three times square root of negative seven, which will go under one head, which is square root of 21. And one last one, you have um, three plus square root of two and three minus square root of two. Before you attempt this, try to notice what's unique about um, this, uh, these two brackets and if you've seen such type of brackets before. So if you're ready for the solution, um, if you notice, you actually have the difference of two squares. Um, it's not two square numbers, but it's actually two terms that are identical and there's a positive in one bracket and negative in another bracket, which means you don't really need to go through the expansion. You just need to square the first term minus square the other term. So I'm just going to do square the first term minus square the other term. And this will give me nine minus, well, as we said, these the square root and the square cancel out. So it's minus two, which is seven. You could have gone through the normal expansion, they would have cancelled out and you would have ended up with the same, uh, you would have ended up with this when the middle terms cancel out and again simplify it to a 7. But remember the um, difference of two squares is quite useful in these instances. Um, so hopefully this video was useful and the last video on thirds will be about rationalizing the denominator.